Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I have decided to purchase the one purchase limit of everything in the Kabam website store, but the reliquary. I can get on board with stuff like this, you know? I can get on board with rank up gems and seven star shards. Obviously, units are fantastic as well. And look, there are people who are really, really excited about this. And you can buy up to four of them. You can get four six-star relic crystals. And most importantly, you can get 32 five-star relic nexus crystals. 32. On top of that, the tier one, the tier three, the tier two, the usual pathetic amount of gold. If you're on a budget, though, avoid this. You could have a rank 5 6-star or a rank 2 7-star that has a 3-star relic and still melt away the competition in everything. And yes, they had to adjust Gambit because they didn't want the 3-star or 4-star relic to be performing like the 6-star. But personally, I never think about the damage done with my relics. Maybe I should. But I don't think of it. I just think about combining that button, that icon, into prolonging a combo, especially if it gets me something better. And I do think there are champions that I need to focus on uh, having relics with equipped that I, uh, that I haven't yet. And one of them... Um, one of them is, is actually taking this because I don't use Cap Infinity War that much anymore because I've swapped him out for a now rank two seven star. So... Pretty exciting stuff. I could even use use an OG Hulk. Instead of Red Hulk. But I think I'm gonna use Can I use Civil War? Alright, well, he's got a relic now. Oh, it's not Civil War, it's Cap World War II. I was like, it doesn't make any sense, it's not the same class. It's also worth noting that leveling up these does help some. Now again, should I look at this and say a four-star relic? That's pathetic. Minimum of a five-star. Maybe, but not enough to spend a hundred bucks. I feel like that should have been included in here. That should have been included in the solo bonus rewards. But it is not. So therefore, I will not. If you have $100 at the store that you're thinking about spending as a Paragon player and it's between the Relics or the best Thronebreaker deal, let me just remind you all courtesy of several people, including my man XXEarth25, Instead of the relics, you get 1,500 seven-star shards, an Abyss Nexus, Crystal Selector, a rank two to three rank up gem, a six-star generic awakening gem, I do believe. Yeah. And then a rank three to rank four, six-star rank up gem crystal. Personally, I think that's better value than the relics. You might disagree. This is what you don't want though. You don't want to overextend your wallet or your credit card. And so I just have to say with caution, that's the purchase I'd skip. I appreciate that the units are included and there is one of these on the Kabam store website. So if you're gonna buy one of those and only one, go for the store first for more units. And I'm just gonna have to hope that their uh, security holds up or else we're gonna have a lot of lawsuits after this week. 
But in the meantime, that's my takeaway. Save your money. This is the purchase that is overextending a lot of people. And you'll be fine without it. Literally with three, three or four stars, you'll be fine.